and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Is It Wizards to start our Wednesday stream off today. So yesterday what we did is I played four decks that were from the Arena MCQ this past weekend that did well. And they were fun to play and everything. And there was one more in there that I really wanted to try out. One more that was different, and that's Is It Wizard. So we're gonna so we're actually playing a fifth deck from the Arena MCQ this past weekend. Here, um, about a week ago, I played Is It Wizards on stream, and it was fun, and, and a lot of people liked it. A lot of views on on YouTube and stuff, and good positive comments about it. So let's try it again. I mean, it was it was pretty successful last time. This version is going a little bigger. The other one was a little more aggressive. It had get you lava runner and more one mana spells. It had like crash th crash through and warlord's fury and stuff like that. So it was it was more in. It was more aggressive. This one looks like it's a little bit bigger. We have a couple augur bolos and a couple god eternal kefnet in here. Also with the fourth Adelie's fourth lightning stormkin. Um, so yeah. So you know, I like uh, trying new trying different cards and, and everything. So let's see how we like this one. Uh, last version was so fast, it didn't have charter courses. This one's got the full four charter course also. So it'll be interesting to try this out. Um, but yeah, this was a, a deck that made day two in the arena MCQ. So I think that means a seven or two, seven and two or better record here. Um, it does have that Chandra, how we talked about before, like at the end of the last video, I just wanted a ton of Chandras in the sideboard because we lost to like removal heavy decks. There's one in here, so not a ton, but there's one. Um, there's a tricksters in here. That's different. Uh, you know, the, this is like the thing against other creature decks. You know, slow them down. Could be pretty nice. But yeah, this this looks pretty interesting to try. So let's go ahead and play a league with Is It Wizards today. I'm just gonna head over. Let's just play. I feel like just playing some leagues today. Um, is it Wizards? Right here. There we go. All right, we'll see if we can get to five wins before two losses. See whichever happens first. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be playing some Dredge later. Um, I haven't played too much Dredge. I'm, this is only the second time I've played Dredge since M20. But War of the Spark, we used to play the Dredge deck. You know, probably played it like ten times or so on stream. It's It's a fun deck to play. Either mill yourself, get a bunch of birds, or sometimes you mill your opponent. Um, if they have enough answers to kill all your birds, you just start milling your opponent. It's a fun one. All right, we got strike, shock, strike, strike. We'll get rid of one of the strikes. Could just get rid of one of the shocks. It's not like it doesn't really look like we necessarily need one mana, and three is more. Three is more damage than two. No, there's not really popular land destruction decks. This is probably where we'll see the bottom three cards of our library. Oh no, wow, we actually hit. Augur Bolas actually hit. Somebody write that down. Yeah, to see the deck list, you can find it right here. It's also on the on the screen, I think. It should be like right there on the screen. All right, so Esper, we want our all the cards we can get, especially with our Mulligan. So I am going to just go ahead and, you know, like, and plus this is even a reanimate deck anyway. So getting Charter Course for the full value is what this deck is going to be wanting to be doing. Like, you know, we're not ditching Phoenixes or anything like that. So I wanted to hold up shock so that if my opponent played Narset, I could shock the Narset and step down. and then still attack Narset for one with Bolas and Trust play Kefnet. Um, so if we go Stormkin shock, we can take out Teferi. Seems like a worthwhile proposition. Stop that now. 
You just let me know if you're up for So rest. Teferi trades with Shock. One for one. There are so many keep an open mind. There are so many keep an open minds. Tefnut's not the worst thing for us to get contempted. And it was also like putting another creature out that doesn't uh, really make us that much worse against Kaya's Wrath. Feather deck that had Cranko and Samet Sprint. Yeah. That is a very good combination right there. Adelie's was an awesome draw. So yeah, I could have gotten a burn spell and hit the bell haunt with the burn spell and then they don't block. But I think I just want to draw two cards. Man, Adelie's is sweet. Plus one, plus one. Thank you. And doing that again so I can just draw more cards. Doing that chart, of course. Uh, Pre-combat, draw a couple more. Now suddenly we have more cards than them. Now same amount of cards. Yeah, Dreadheart Arcanist. Doing its thing. So I can only cast Shock or Opt. I can... I can like... Strike and shock the bell haunt so they don't get to block. Or I can just try to kill them. You know, lightning strike and shock them. And try to kill them. But then Dreadhorde Arcanist is definitely dead. I'm going to be going. I'm going for them. Yeah, they had they had counterspell mana, so I was just gonna wait. I was just willing to go to my next. I wasn't even gonna do it, try like upkeep because they could still have counterspell. So I was just going to wait until they tap down like that, or 
and you know like we were going to be attacking the next turn yes that was a really good showing beating esper chart of course was incredible for us let's get this extra chandra in here and then i guess we have these permission spells I wonder if I want another trick, like the tricksters, just have more and more threats. Your opponent just milled themselves with <laughs> with Command the Dread Horde getting 63 Risen Reef triggers. Oh my gosh. That is so many Risen Reef triggers. Okay, Shock gets recast. Maybe I want Shock instead of Strike. Shock gets recast by Arcanist. Even though Strike does a better job taking down Narset. But if you look, we just have so many twos. That was their fault for commanding the dread hoarding for so much. What's up, Soul Farmer? Yeah, we had. Yeah, I agree. He said that Jade of All. I agree. Those are some. Those last few turns were gas that we just had there. Unfortunately, Adelise doesn't have a card style, unfortunately. Hey, QQ. Good evening. Soul Farmer. Hello, hello. Special K is the name of the song. You're sad, Adelise rotates out. Saddleys. Uh, yeah, it's always. That's never good having. Oh no. Never want to be Saddleys. And yeah, that Legion's End. That card could be pretty good. Maybe watch out for that one. Mind and body should move with thoughtfulness before action. Our legion has been ended. I still have much to learn. I don't know if Kefnet can take on five cards from Esper by itself, even if it is an eternal god. It's been zombified. Come on back, Kefnet. It was never gone. You can't get rid of the Kefnet. Hmm. <laughs> Good call, Ravager. Don't don't get saddleys that she'll be gone. Get Gladilies that she was here. Mm, it's fine. 
Yeah, Charter Course was the perfect top tech. We got four new cards. Unfortunately, those four new cards were three lands and an Arcanist, but... You can't kill the Kefnet. You cannot kill zombie gods. You can't exile them. You cannot bind them. Your wrath doesn't matter. Your binding doesn't matter. They will be back. No matter how many oaths you take. They will be back. I like how... Uh, sorry, Adelise. I like how just like whenever Kefnet dies, that means that we are going to draw an opt. So that's good. Kefnet will be back. The eternal bird. <laughs> uh. Three for three there with the ops. <laughs> Yeah, as we saw there with like the charter course before, it's just it's just good for us to keep this land in hand. Sorry, I'm late. I've got it. No. All right, well that's probably game. Seriously, negate. Here we go. And yeah, they have so much. They have so much life gain. I'll protect you. Hmm. Ugh, so much hate for the aggro decks here. I guess I should play Mu Yanling. Guess. Lyra's a real problem. Lyra is a real problem. I don't have a good answer, too. There's no fries in my deck. Didn't get any fries today. I mean, I have, like, these other burn spells I can pair up, though. Okay. Um. Not, not really. I mean, good question. The question is, do I have a preference between is it wizards and is it drakes? Not really. I, you know, like, I don't really have a preference between either one. I had to choose, I guess, Drakes. Like for, I mean, especially for the for the next format, it's certainly Drakes. Um. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. Bow to the howling winds. 
I think I'll get Mu Yanling started. I wanted to get one of the two Planeswalkers down and then start holding up counter spells. So I'd, I'd really like to draw a land here, of course. Are we wizards or are we elementals? Elemental, elemental. We're looking like we're elementals. We'll get more of those. Keep this. The past, present, and future are bound by the I have just the trick for this. Bleh. Yeah, might as well. Don't let them surveil. All right, so I have two, four, six, nine. We have nine damage here. I think it would make sense just to hit the Narset, though. Yeah, not with the minus again. I guess. I guess we'll hit Narset with the strike, though. Because now I need to be able to draw multiple cards. This was overwhelming. Blech. Your temper. All right, setting up for the surprise kill with Adelie's next turn. Keeping the mountain in hand so that they had Bell Haunt, we would discard Mountain. If they just played Lyra, we would we would have had the Moo Yanling to get, make their creature lose flying. Surprise, lethal. I think a lot, of, a lot of people would have just played the land and played Adelie's last turn and attacked for two, and they would have just killed the Adelie's. Uh, 
but they didn't see that coming. GG's. <laughs> oh, thanks, y'all. <laughs> okay. Match number two. That was a good first match. Good match. Alright, well, we do need to find creatures, so we'll opt for creatures. Turn one, I suppose. Even though I usually like waiting on opt, but we don't have any creatures. I mean, I could wait. Could have, like, turn two charter course and then see after that, but. I already know any creature. <laughs> yeah, you think our opponent was pretty mad at ease about that loss? You're probably right. <laughs> Alright, going from Esper to Vampires. This could be Esper Vampires also. Never know. What is this basic, though? Come on. Get a better basic than that. It's like the worst possible basic. That's weird. Looks like connection issues. Hey, Selvin. So that's six. The next turn it's two, six, ten, thirteen. Oh come on, I'm one short of lethal. Well, I guess they, they get to gain another life though next turn. Yeah, main deck main deck legions end is very common. With vampires being the top deck, scapeshift being the second top deck, legions ends great against both of them. Seventeen. So that's four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ha! 
<laughs> they know all the cards in hand. Uh, good game. And they just know all the cards in hand. You can't pay that for life. You're dead. Yeah, dead. Yeah, Deckmaster is up. So, Flame Sweepers, Lava Coil Melody. These look like the cards that are cards to be playing against vampires. Trickster is amazing against a Danto Vanguard. That's that's the great Trickster. Yeah, that's why Trickster is so great. It's so good against a Danto Vanguard. Because a Danto Vanguard does not, like, turns into just the one one that cannot save itself against Trickster. So Trickster just eats it. That's a lot of spells, though, that I just brought in. My, maybe I'm not supposed to play the flame sweeps. Yeah, I kind of don't want these flame sweeps. I think the flame sweeps maybe are more for all the zombie stuff. Maybe not this matchup. So what what else comes out here? All of this looks really reasonable. Like, um. Lightning Stormkin, Adelie's. Like, do, do I take out some creatures? Yeah, like maybe the Stormkins. We see a Kefnet coming out. It's a little slow. I gotta take out some. I guess I took out one one Kefnet and the Stormkins. I mean, I did bring in more creatures with the Tricksters. Yeah, we'll, we'll win somehow. It's like I, br I brought in three creatures and cut five. And I brought in a melody, which is like another creature. Basically. So I basically brought in four creatures, cut five. That is true, the two power creatures do get legions ended a bunch. Good call there. So cutting like Adelie's, or not Adelie, sorry, but Stormkin does make sense as well. It's aggressive. Don't get to cast down this. You know, cast down Legion's End. Those things don't work on Adelie's. Adelie's is going to be your Brawl commander. Well, I think Brawl is only going to be in st for standard, and Adelie's will not be in standard anymore. I'm pretty sure. Brawl is just standard only.
Guess they had probably had a decent amount of, like the five mana vampires in their hand. I don't think that's much of a problem, Historic splintering the mana base, the player base. I don't think that's much of a problem. There are just a ton of, you know, magic players on here. I don't think I don't think you need to be too worried about it getting the format like just it getting splintered too much. <laughs> that was the Twilight version of Vampire. The easiest ones to kill. <laughs> You're on your game today, Storm. It's probably because we're playing your card. We're playing your kin. just don't have like any spells to play with the Arcanist. I'm not even going to lead off with the Arcanist. We're just going to start getting damage in here. Well, that was the reason to play Arcanist first, I suppose. Got really punished with that withdrawing the other Stormkin there. You know, like I was just from, from the get-go, that was my Mindset was playing that over Arcanist, but then we just draw the other Stormkin, and I'm still like, okay, I mean, still gonna lead, you know, it didn't, I didn't recalibrate, but maybe I should have. <laughs> we keep on getting main decked, Legion's ended. It's still just going to be a 4-3 Jade Light that's going to be killing me. That's a pretty good Lightning Strike target at a 4-3. Volgari Queen's rough, though, here, obviously. I only pick targets that interest me. What? And really, that, that Legion's end. This. I certainly regret starting with Stormkin, but Stormkin still has my back. Takes out that Vraska for me. Bleh. Go ahead. Beg for more. I won't forgive this. <laughs> Doesn't look great for us. Yeah, this has been... We've only drawn Charter Courses and Stormkins, and they're only drawing Vraska's. An <laughs> Vraska and Legion's End beat Stormkin, unfortunately. favors you. Yeah, I play I play Kali and friends all the time, King of Glonks. I wanted to try a Boros Angels deck today. More based around Feather. Alive or alive. Hmm. All right, take care, take care of Soul Farmer. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I 
There's enough courses in hand for the current curriculum. Uh, get rid of that. So I need to, oh gosh, I don't, man, that Golgari Queen's gonna go to eight here. Sacrifices must be made. Kinda need Kefnet that doesn't die to Golgari Queen. These Golgari Queens have been really good. All right, so learn my lesson as far as, you know, leading with Stormkin instead of leading with Arcanist. Really need to lead with Arcanist before. That got my attention. Hey, Tara. Back to the shadows. My, I guess the day's your lucky day. The undead make great minions, loyal and silent. All right, so we have Gust, Negate. Probably want our Planeswalkers. I mean, oh, man, Golgari Queen just kills these Planeswalkers, though. Retort. Hey, noob. He said something before Noob Loco there. My Twitch page kind of spazzed out, and so it went away. But I'm back here now. Yeah, we could play Spell Pierce. Still... I feel like I don't really want Reckless Rage. I mean, they're going to be like Wild Growth Walker, probably. And like Wild Growth Walker is going to be a big problem. Arcanist wasn't really doing anything for me. Now that is Augur Bolos. Let's get rid of Augur. Get rid of two Arcanists. Get this Chandra. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could have Melody. I was just kind of finishing with the Cyborg there. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be Melody. I don't have, like, a real good reason why no Melody here. All right, keeping this. I think I want to get rid of a Stormkin because of Legion's End. But if they, I mean, if they don't have Legion's End, I want both Stormkins. In that case, I'd want to put back one of these things. Uh, 
I'm gonna try putting back a Stormkin though. I'm hoping they just have a more creature draw, like where this like kills like wild growth, this kills a second wild growth kind of thing. I've um I've always gone off the cuff myself. That's always because I've always just like played decks that I've kind of put together though. So I've never used sideboard guides. I've there's been a couple of times where I've written down a couple of things myself to kind of help for like little like like little like reminder type stuff, like side sideboard type stuff um, that I'll look at that I'll look at on like a piece of paper but be between sideboarding. It wasn't like a necessarily like a, a whole bunch of matchups, put this in, take this out kind of thing. Yeah, King, I think this deck is yeah, I think you could yeah, I think this is this is a a very reasonable F and M deck. Kind of thing, or like a you know local tournament type deck. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is reasonable for that for sure. Attack. So we gotta get three more hits in with the Stormkin. Well, at least our, our putting the one Stormkin down to the bottom really worked out, because they did have Legion's End. Hopefully no Golgari Queen. All right, so we need another three damage burn spell or Adelie's. Oh, I don't have the mana for Adelie's and strike. Ugh. Didn't have the mana, like strike would have been four damage. I mean, I could, I could sit back and just chill and wait, see if we draw a land, but I, I think it's better just to play an attack with no guarantee of land. If it was the kind of thing that, like, we just played our fourth land this turn and we had another land in hand and we could just wait a turn and then play Adelie Strike, maybe I'd probably do that. I've been happy with the strikes. They've been good. But yeah, we just don't have the mana to go Adelie's and strike here. So now we need any burn whatsoever. Any haste creature or burn. We need red spells. Red spell. Ugh.
If I knew I had that land on top, maybe I would have waited with Adelise. Maybe they would have tapped out for like Liliana or something. Oh no, they would have tapped out for Cavalier Thorns. That shuts off some of my options. I'm really looking for Shock. Strike, Wizard's Lightning. Yep, we need a red card. I'm going to Lightning Strike them here because we could draw Charter Course into Wizard's Lightning where we need all five mana. Darn. Uh, we beat... Yeah. Uh, we, we beat Esper Control and Vampires. And now we're going to lose to Golgari. We had like two draws there to draw that last little bit of burn. Couldn't do it. Close. We we have played just a, some good good games with this deck though. It's a fun games. All right, what do we get? What are we playing against this match? All right, need to look for a wizard. Wizard. Wizards. Yeah. Not a wizard. I wouldn't mind the extra land though, just like with these charter courses. Okay, I really didn't mean it that bad whenever I said I wouldn't mind an extra land. <laughs> Alright, there's Adelise. So we've gone through three, four, five, and scry two lands at the bottom, six, seven, plus this one is land number eight. Land number I'm pretty positive this Adelise is dying, so I'm going to keep the other one. 
Oh, that's awesome, PMJ. Glad you're, yeah, glad you're enjoying enjoying the aerialist and vampires, and that worked for you. Yeah, happy to hear that. Let's slow this down. Hurry. Well then. No attacks with Bell Haunt? What are you doing? I haste wizards. I guess. Do anything you want. Dang. So that's eleven lands now. Yeah, so that's half our lands. In almost half the deck, I mean in twenty three cards. Okay, not really almost half. Yeah, we could have done 14 damage to them previously. Or like that last turn. But just getting Teferi out of here. Responsibility. Let's try this. You can draw better than shock. Just instantly keeping these on top. The focus, meditate, and prepare. <laughs> no, Citadel's not the best card in standard. Keep an open mind. Yeah, just showing how busted these things are. I'm hold that thought. I knew the charter course would do that, but I wanted to play it because we'd already lost. <laughs> hey, Flux. So. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Before. All right, so we drew two creatures. And 12 lands that game. Let's try to do a little bit better with our 
creatures and land draws here for game number two. Take out one Arcanist. And then one shock, two strikes. Yeah, the pup's legendary too. So yeah, whenever you play like Tulsimer, if you want to play a new like if you if they kill the Tulsimer and you want to play a new one, you have to get rid of one of the one of the puppies from Tulsimer because they're legendary also. Oh, I need to scoop in response to the chart. Good on that. <laughs> yes, of course that chart of course is on purpose. The game was over whenever we drew a chart of course and I want to play it. So I played it. But once we drew it as another dead card there, we were not going to be able to come back. Hmm. Looks like we're going to five. The deck just didn't like us this game. Kept on finding lands after lands after lands that first game, you know, 12 lands there and now zero land one land I'm just mulliganing to oblivion that happens happens with these low low, low land count decks that that first game was though like finding so many lands that doesn't usually happen as much That was the real unfortunate one. All right, we got three lands on the bottom of our library. So time for us to draw a bunch of spells. I was doing those first to be able to play a land, to be able to play a land drop. It's, it's worse to do that if they're going to be thought erasing though. In a kind of match like this where we're already so behind on cards. It's going to be difficult to use burn spells on planeswalkers and stay in it. So, I 
Trust. You know what? I'm not done yet. But we have to with that thing, though. Just have to. Do you want me to phase you out of time? This is hardly my worst defeat. This cannot be two cards a turn. And an extra two mana a turn. You just can't can't be an extra card and, and an extra two mana every turn. Alright, GG. This isn't a fight you can let's skip to the good part. Charter Course main phase one isn't really helping me. Mu Yanling just does nothing. Leaving Mountain in hand because of Basilica Bell Hunt. Let's take it back. Well, that was good. If I'm playing Charter Course, all I'm doing is putting Moo in my hand and discarding this other card. This is hardly my worst defeat. I don't know if that's really worth it. seem worth it for the card because like that that could be something good that, that and the charter course doesn't really even help us like where maybe we discard this mountain to the charter course sorry uh, keep up the pace Bleh. All right, Ravager. Okay. So same... Last time we played the Wizards deck, that's what we lost to. Both both of our matches last time was Esper. This time, we did beat Esper one match. Um, Kefnet was awesome for us for beating Esper that one game. But... Uh, or no, we lost the game with when we had all the Kefnets, didn't we? I don't remember. But anyway, we did beat us for one game. Um, but uh, lost to Esper and then another like green-black heavy deck. So just like last time, I talked about how I wanted just tons of Chandra's in the sideboard. Kind of the same thing. Moo is fine, but I don't think as good as Chandra. It's like just struggles against, you know, removal heavy decks, because against removal heavy decks, we we don't have like tons of threats, and our threats are really easy to kill anyway. It's like we have we have a limited amount of threats, and they're very easy to kill. So decks with tons of removal like that, remo when they're their decks only removal card advantage, we're gonna struggle. We don't really have a a second way of attacking them, and so kind of the same thing as before. I just want more like planeswalkers in the sideboard for these kind of matchups. You know, whether three mana Chandra, four mana Chandra, maybe even. I feel like like even 
Like, I feel like that's just, like, what these decks are missing are just not... They don't have a good second angle of attack. Um... So yeah, I would I would prefer like last time I talked about how I wanted four Acolyte of Flames. And you know, if not, I would wouldn't mind like some some four mana planeswalkers here also just to get the the raw cards. You know, whether it's four mana Chandra or whether it's Karn, uh Scion of Urza, stuff like that. Cause like those those post board games against Esper, which is a really popular kind of deck, and, and it's really like the same kind of things happen against the green black as like how the games play out. Like that that green black deck, those decks all they they're just filled with creature removal, post board and like sweepers, and they just have so much of that stuff that we can't really rely on this game plan. And this game plan is pretty good though; it's pretty good against a lot of things. But I I really think that this deck needs like four to six slots in the sideboard for all those kind of control decks just. Um, you know, like, so I don't, I don't know if like spell pierce negate or, I mean, like those are spell pierce negate are really good against the combo decks, but not really so good against control decks. Like they get, they get out of spell pierce range so fast, but, but, oh, there's wizards. Our deck looked really, our deck looked pretty good against vampires. I wouldn't say really, but it did look pretty good against vampires. Um, our vampire opponent didn't have the absolute best hands that they could, but you know, ne neither, neither did we really. But I love how Trickster lines up against against uh, Adanto Vanguard, and our deck in general is just so aggressive that we just blank Adanto Vanguard, and I like that quite a bit. And we have just a whole lot of good cheap removal that also goes upstairs. Um, yeah, our deck looked pretty decent against vampires. Yeah, Ral Zarek, I think maybe five mana is just one too much. So that's why I think maybe Karn, Sion of Urza instead of Ral Zarek. I think five could be just one too many too much there. But Ral Zarek is very good. That's another that's a it's a good option for sure. Um But yeah. Kind of shifting to like the yeah, just like planes like grind them out with like the planeswalkers and burn spells and stuff like that and you know still have obviously like it like the haste creatures but instead of like arcanist is just way too slow against control like this card's never going to hit augur bolus a one three body doesn't matter against control like we you can just you don't need these things um and then you know you can get rid of some of these burn spells and stuff and just shift into like a bigger deck against them but there we go that was is it wizards so if you're watching the video later on youtube don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, and leave a comment as well. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.